That sounds so nice. Ready? I'm gonna get it nice and close to the camera. Doesn't that just sound great? Perfect. Because I've got Let's try that again. Today is a very important day. Why is today a very important day? Well, because in front of me I have a box that includes one of the most highly regarded, highly coveted karate games. I've got to stand up for this. I can't even sit down. So here's how this is gonna go. Once I figure out how to open this with my raw man strength, that was easier than I thought it was gonna be. This thing is pretty. Okay, first off, I went with the black because I don't see anybody who wears a black station gi. You know how it's gotta be. Over here, karate in America, gotta go with the black gi. Whew. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, oh, magnifique. Yes, also, first thing, if you buy a station gi, you should know that you don't wash it the way you wash like your underwear. Uh, you definitely don't mix this with the pinks. Okay, well, first off, Let's just, let's just look at this logo here, right? This, this super pretty Seishin logo. It's just such, such quality, quality. Ooh, oh my gosh, this is my other favorite part right here. Look at that. Look at how pretty that is. Can we just talk about that for a second? I'm gonna talk about this, this here, cause that's obviously very pretty. Thanks mom. But this here, this, oh, it smells really nice too. One of my favorite parts about these station geese from what I've seen are the holes, the armpit holes, right? They've got these holes in the armpits so your warm areas breathe a little bit. They've got the holes in the crotchular area because you gotta give the boys a good home, you know, you gotta have proper ventilation. So first things first, I guess we have to try it on, right? We'll do a training montage here shortly. That's what I like about geese is when geese have like a nice snap to them. There's the difference between like rolling geese, judo geese, jujitsu geese, and then like good karate geese. Especially for tournament, competition, or just like everyday training, you wanna be able to like really emphasize the start stop of emotion. Thicker, lighter geese do a good job of that. All right, so fashion time. First and foremost, you'll notice for my older geese that I usually wore, my sizes are weird, like I've got small-ish hips, but then but then thumper legs, but super long arms. It, I've got a weird body for sure. And what I would usually do is roll these up, but this is perfect because I don't have to roll them up. My belt is in the car, I believe. I might have another belt though, one second. Would you look at that, I did. Um, it's a belt from when I was a thicker version of myself, you know? But anyway, so first thoughts about it, it's a, it's a lot wider around the edges than I'm used to, but I like that a lot because you have that room to breathe. Like you're covered up, but you're not restricted, you know what I mean? Because it's important to know how these kind of things feel. Oh, listen to that snap. Oh, that's a cool one. Dog hair just flew everywhere. That's kind of gross. I should probably, I should probably sweep. But I forgot about this, this diploma here of like authenticity that they go through. It, it makes it feel like this is a whole experience when you get one. I've been looking for a station gi forever. And now that I've got one on, it's pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie, feels cool. We'll go through some testing with it. Hopefully I'll be able to get some footage of the sparring and testing. Um, and then we're also gonna do a couple katas in the name of karate. We'll do a couple katas and then uh... This is the first time I've like worn, worn this gi, like outside of the house. We're about to do some black belt testing in the other room, but I wanted to like come outside and give you my first thought. So my first thought right off the bat is how high the pants sit. So I know you can't really see it, but the pants sit right about here, whereas more American style karate pants, they sit right about where the belt does. I like this because you don't have to hike up the pants to kick. There's no need to like adjust before you strike. Also, what's funny is I'm usually a sleeve roller upper. So you'll find me like rolling up my pants and rolling up the sleeves. But I don't have to do with this with these because I've already got all this 
space, you know? It, it is accommodated for the kind of small adjustments that I usually make within my gi already. It's very arid while also still having good pop to it. We'll do some kata upstairs in the other room once the black belt testing is over, and then I'm gonna try and get some sparring. I love sparring, sparring's a big part of my training, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this, and I'm gonna give you guys some insight on what it feels like to move around in this, and then we'll do some kata upstairs, we'll throw in some sick slow-mo shots, you know, the whole YouTuber deal. Let's get into it. Bang! Can't make it snap quite like Jesse can. Hold on. Yes. Oh. oh, it sounds so nice. Ready? I'm gonna get it nice and close to the camera. Doesn't that just sound great? And a lot of you guys have asked to see a kata. So today what we're gonna do is I'm going to perform the kata side. Let's do it. Okay, so it's been a while since you've seen me here, right? Back in the old hometown, and I was gonna put sparring footage in here, but... Yeah, take care of this. <laughs> See you, bud. Take care, man. You too. Um, I was going to put some of the sparring from the black belt test in there, but those guys had enough pressure on them already. Uh, I didn't need to record them and then put getting their butt kicked on the internet I can tell you that everything feels great. It opens up really nicely. So as you're going, like, geese, you want to not be too tight all the time. Like, I like having some flowiness to it. This does a great job of not, like, tightening up on your skin. And it does a really good job of, like, airing things out. And we talked about this earlier, how it's got the pity vents and it's got the, uh, lower vents. It felt great. It felt no different than if I was wearing my shorty shorts and my t-shirt. Having the high-waisted strap really helped. I look, I feel like I look kind of cool. I don't know. Like maybe I'm just kind of feeling myself a little bit, you know, because I've got this Seishin gi on. But it feels nice. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. And from what I understand, the best part about this is the longevity that you get. And with that longevity, you're supposed to have the last gi that you'll probably need to buy which makes sense for the price point. Also, I'm realizing that me having the pants on the table may seem like I'm not wearing pants. The price point for the Seishin Gi is about 249 euros, which I believe comes out to about 294 US dollars. Now, that is one of the higher price points that you're gonna find for Karate Gi, there's no mistake in it. However, I think the love that they put into this, like the specific competitive karate design. Everything about this gi seems like it fits to that price point. Like it feels like it fits that value. Like the threading down to the ventilation, down to the snappiness, how it looks like a really good solid gi, but it also feels lightweight. Like all of that stuff matches up to the price point. If you're willing to put that kind of investment into your training and this is something that's worth it to you, you will absolutely get what you pay for when it comes to station. Whenever you see one of these high value products, it doesn't come down to like, when you drive a Lamborghini, you're paying for the Lamborghini. You're not just paying for a car, you're paying for the Lamborghini. Does that make sense? Hopefully that kind of like gives you a better idea of why the Seishin Gi is more expensive than the other Gi's that you're gonna see. Um, to wrap it up, these Gi's are awesome. They come in white as well. I'm not a guy who competes, but I know you can't compete in specific tournaments with the black. So if you want to compete in the tournaments, if you want this as your competition Gi, get the white one. Um, it comes in male, youth, women's sizes, a bunch of different sizes, just like every other gi style has. This is a great gi. If it's worth it to you, it's worth it. If it's not, from what I found, there are other alternatives for karate gis. They're just not quite what Seishin is. 
If you want more information on Station, you can go down to the website below. This is not a sponsored video. They sent me a gi and said, hey, you wanna take a look at it and review it? And I said, yes, absolutely, because I've wanted one for a really long time. If you like this video and you wanna see other reviews of like gloves, shin guards, stuff like that, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I also put out tons of fun martial arts content with other YouTubers, UFC fighters, all that kind of fun stuff. Make sure you stick around and you guys know the deal by now. Subscribe or I'll kick you. These actually are the pants that I was gonna wear. Um, so I can't kick you right now. Punch though, punch, punch work for now. Bang!